I would say the biggest thing that stands out to me is how really welcoming everybody is. We really highlight that all are welcome. My favorite thing about High C is me walking in every morning and everyone welcoming me and hanging out with my friends and my teachers in the morning. Everybody always uh, greets you with a welcome, good to have you here, um, or uh, hey, uh, we're here for another day. So uh, that sense of, of welcoming in every aspect, whether coming in the door or coming into a, the door of a new classroom. It's hard to change schools. It's harder to change schools in the middle of the year, and it's even harder to do that when you are a preteen. So watching that that happened and that it was able to you know work so well for these students I think really says a lot about the kids that we have here and that they are you know not just welcoming but that they are really able to step up and kind of be leaders in the school as well. All my friends that um, I didn't have before they all welcomed me into this school very nicely. I think what I feel most when I walk in the door is really just that sense of belonging in that community. And even as a first year teacher, the fact that I can feel it um, in this building is something that maybe isn't tangible, but it's, it's something that you could feel that's there, that I feel that I'm respected and that I'm cared for by the staff, by the administration, by the students. And I know my students are cared for by all of those people as well. So just to know that there is that community that's really there to support, that's really there to care about us, and that I really do feel like I belong and like my students belong at Highland Catholic, that like, that they are Highland Catholic Hornets and that is part of their identity. So that's just a wonderful feeling to be able to, to be able to have. I see really like, it really is super inclusive. It's like, I haven't really been to any other schools, but it's just amazing how much like, even when a new kid comes in, like, immediately they're accepted by everyone and they find a new friend group like within an instant it's just it's super nice and inclusive everybody Um, the Super Friends program is probably the coolest thing I've seen. Um, they really didn't teach you much of that in college and coming into it, just having a super friend and being not only a super friend to everyone at the school, but teaching them how to be super friends to themselves and really those social emotional skills that to learn at that young of an age is so key. Super friends and like all the all, the all school mass, it really shows me to just be a like just to be a good person in life. The Super Friends program is definitely unique. It's um, really cool that HiC has that focus on, you know, building that community and building those anti-bullying messages. And that it's something that it's not just something we say we do, but it's something we actually do every week. HiC teaches really good social skills. You know how to talk to everybody. You kind of go out of your comfort zone, and you just. Everyone's super nice to everyone, and there's not a lot of drama. Everyone's just super talkative, and yeah. I think my favorite thing about High C is definitely the teachers. They're so nice, and like they really know how to help you, especially like when you're struggling with something. They know how to like adapt to whatever you need, and they're just like super inclusive, and they like treat everyone the same. I specifically can think of Mr. Baki. Um, during the early days of the pandemic, I remember he was on that computer every class in his dress shirt, teaching you know live time classes when a lot of the other um, online offerings were were very remote. You know, it was kind of do the work on your own time. But Mr. Baki was on there every day. The kids had to check in. They had to participate. It was like nothing had changed. They really teach me some good stuff, um, like how to be like a good friend. 
they teach us some good academics. We kind of preview what we're going to learn throughout the year. They have a picture and an idea and they just get excited to learn. The communication with teachers is easy. Um, Mrs. Schmidt, her door is always open. The people in the office are always accessible. Um, it's easy to find what you need here. <laughs> we have the most amazing technical support person in Miss Atlas ever. I mean, there's, it's like whatever goes wrong, somebody in this building knows how to fix it. Teach your children well. Their father's home did slowly go by and feed them on your dreams. The one they picked, the one you know by. Don't you ever ask them why? If they told you you would cry, so just look at them and sigh, and know they love you. I mean, it was really great to get back and to be able to work with Martha Scold and to work with Barb Donahue again, because they were um, big mentors for me when I was student teaching. Um, so it was great to come back to them, but all of the staff has been so welcoming so helpful for me to figure out, you know, all of the little ins and outs. Um, the students are great. They're, they're wonderfully quirky, which is what you expect of middle schoolers. But it's just great to see that this is a really vibrant and thriving community. I think the opportunity to go to all school mass, at least monthly, and have families there is amazing. I like the kids to be able to see their friends there and their family at church together, worshiping together. Um, today happened to be the grandparents mass. It was amazing. There wasn't a spot open in the entire church. And it was very moving to just see all those families together, all the people there. And it made the worship um, stronger and you could feel the love in the room. And you just could tell that this is a community that really, really cares about its faith and really cares about this school. And it was, it was amazing. Teach your parents well Their children we tell Will slowly go by And feed them on your dreams The one they fix one you know by. Don't you ever ask them why? If they told you you would cry, so just look at them and sigh. And know they love you. I think we really are able to challenge kids who need that extra challenge, but also support those who might struggle. And that is something you don't always see in a school that only has two classes per grade. So to be able to, you know, give students really what they need is something that's unique about Highland Catholic. It doesn't, it doesn't matter what grade you're in here. It doesn't matter who your teacher is. You're a high C Hornet. It's such a community here. It really is. I think they just really look forward to anything throughout the day. I, I always have questions. What are we doing next? What are we learning next? Oh, I can't wait. They're so positive about everything. Um, they just really love being here. I, I probably get about 10 every single day saying, oh, I don't want to go home. I'm not ready to go home. And I think a lot of schools will, uh, would like to say all are welcome, and they are, but we really model that all are welcome and encourage to be the unique um, people that they are and that's something that we celebrate here. All are welcomed at the Lumen Christi and Highland Catholic School communities. At Highland Catholic, all are welcome. 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 At High C, all are welcome. <laughs>